Hi everyone, I'm Liz Mercado, your favorite independent Sensi superstar consultant. With my business, I have learned so much, not only about the product and direct sales, but about myself and just the way that positive thinking can affect your business immensely. You see, a couple years back, Sensi announced their incentive trip. It was a trip to Disney World for the entire family. And I was super excited about this trip. I left reunion thinking, I got this in the bag. I know exactly how I'm gonna achieve it. And my husband and I worked out a plan that was bulletproof. We thought, we got this. This is what we have to do. And the months started going by and we started falling behind on the points that we needed. And I started saying, well, I'm pregnant. I'm having a baby. Like, Sensi is crazy to think that I can earn this trip while having a baby and having to take time off. And I just kept looking for excuses as to why it was okay for me not to earn this trip. So when January came around, which was the last month of our incentive trip, I saw two of my friends who were pregnant and having babies at the same time I was earning this trip, not just for them, but for their entire family of four. And I started feeling really, really bad. I said, what did they do different? They had babies. They had to take time off. Like, why didn't I achieve this just like they did? And for a few months, I kept working my business, but I kept that question in the back of my head. And I was lucky enough to attend a training by Superstar Director Katie Farner, which was all about the mental game and thinking positively. Her training was about eliminating the I can't statements and living by I can statements. And that training really hit me hard because I realized that during this whole time, I was living with the I can't. I can't do this because I'm having a baby. I can't do that because I have to take time off. Instead of saying, I can do this or I can still do this uh, to, to get me there. So... I started changing the way I thought and saw everything. And the following year, I earned my first incentive trip. I earned Sensi Family Reunion. The summer after that, I earned our summer incentive. And I am well on my way to earning this incentive again. So by changing my way of thinking, I have seen immense growth in my business and in myself. I have learned that I have no limits to what I can achieve except for the limits that I set myself. I have learned that fear will hold me back if I let it, but I can grab a hold of fear and just roll with it and see that growth and the immense rewards of my business. Now, in the meantime that I was doing all these trainings and kind of changing my way of thinking, I saw a movie that was truly inspiring. This movie was about a young boy who was very talented and he had a dream. And he did everything he could to pursue his dream. He spent all of his money and money that people lent him. He went after great things and in the way he lost contracts, he lost sales, he lost employees that did not believe in his dream. He had a few friends that really believed in him and tried to help him as much as, as they could, but still in the end, he found himself bankrupt and living in the streets. And while living in the streets, he still had that dream. He was still searching for a way to make that dream come true. And he ran into a mouse. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. Walt Disney. When I saw this movie, which is Walt before Mickey, it truly taught me that no matter 
how low or how many no's we get or how many people turn our opportunity down. Our dream is our dream and we have to keep fighting for it. We have to keep searching for a way to get there. And one day we will find that little mouse that's gonna turn all our dreams into a reality. I was lucky enough to go to Disney not long ago and watch their new fireworks spectacular. And the message that it has is truly inspiring. Now I had gone the day after I had a really bad experience with mother nature. I was at an event and we got rained on and a lot of my tools got ruined and I was feeling defeated. I remember asking my husband, why do I even do all this? And he said, don't let anything steal your dream. So the next day we got up and went to Disney and I was still feeling a little bit defeated, not knowing how I was gonna push through this little hurdle that I had. And I got to listen to the words and the song of the fireworks. And not only was I in tears, but I left Disney fully inspired and fully ready to tackle on my dreams. So I want to share that with you guys. Here we go. <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Ready to begin, let the wonder take hold. Feel it draw you in, watch the moment unfold. Spark a dream that we're meant to follow, setting out for a new tomorrow. have dreams we all have goals and the world they kind of teach us to just settle and to dream but not dream too big well Walt Disney has taught me that going after the impossible is fun and dreaming as long as you keep working towards your goals and your dreams is achievable so what I'm saying to you is, whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, don't let anyone take that away. Learn to do the impossible. Learn to live with positive thinking so that you can be guided to achieving those dreams. I hope that you found at least a little bit of inspiration in this training video. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and do so. Till next time.
Bye.